I'd like to welcome you all and thank you for coming and being part of this very, very, very special day. I'm sure you are all in agreement that Alex looks absolutely stunning. <laughs> and the team around her and Emmerich look very nice. And Amrit, you scrub it very well too. I want to read a portion of scripture and just share a little thought. And I trust you can all hear me over this wind. But in Genesis chapter 2 and verse 18, it says this. The Lord God said, it is not good for Amrit to be alone. That's right. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> it's really not, people. <laughs> goes on to say, I will make a suitable helper for him. Here's the interesting fact. It does not say it is someone to complete you. Your job is not to complete each other. That is reserved for God alone. Only God can complete you. If you look to your partner to complete one another, you're going to put a pressure on them to be something they can never be to you. Eric, I believe you can make a great husband, but you'll make a terrible saviour. Alex, I believe you can make a great wife, but you'll make a terrible saviour. Let's leave God's part to God. It does not say complete him, nor does it say it is your job to change him. It is not your job to change each other. I remember when I first laid eyes on you. I never have really thought that someone so beautiful, kind, caring, and loves <laughs> Loves God as much as I do. We don't only just hang out with me. <laughs> but now, we want to spend the rest of their lives with me. I'm so blessed, so grateful that you have chosen me. The way you hold yourself, care, love, and just not for people closest to you, but everyone around you, is what attracts me to you. You really show what it's like to be Christ-like and you challenge me in that way on a daily basis and that makes me fall in love with you more and more every day. I can't wait to travel and go on more adventures with you to find the best winery and Mexican food on earth. I can't wait for you to help me more with my misspelled words and my totally out of context <laughs> words that make you laugh until you cry <laughs> and for me to tell you put furniture together. <laughs> Thank you for choosing, choosing me. I love you so much. My honey, my love, how sweet it is to finally be here standing in front of you and to carry the comfort of knowing that from today forward you will be mine always. From the moment I met you, I knew that you were a game changer. Your questionable humour and spontaneity has kept me on my toes, but your excitement for what this life has to offer makes me excited for our future together. You always bring out the best in me, even though I can be a whirlwind of a person, full of emotion and ideas, you so gently keep me grounded, but always remind me that I am understood, I am loved and I am capable. You have taken the time to know me deeply and you move me to soar further than I ever could on my own. I will choose you again and again at the start and finish of every day, no matter what season or year, I choose you in our struggles and in our success. I choose you knowing that there are plenty more trails to travel and mountains to climb. I promise to love you deeply, to be a safe place, to honour you, to stand by you, to challenge you, to blow wind in your sails, to listen to you, to value you and to hold you when you're crying because the cat's lost the footy. <laughs>
and Mrs. Emmerich and Alex Bernard. We almost didn't have Amrick today because he almost bled to death um, <laughs> yesterday uh, because he thought he'd do a little bit of manscaping and uh, get himself freshened up for I don't know what's happening but um, <laughs> but uh, let's just say like his left nipple <laughs> is on the brink <laughs> of bleeding so um, if anyone wants to give him a nipple couple tonight he will ruin that shirt so yeah get right into it I want to thank everyone for coming so there's people that have come from just down the road there's people that come from um, a bit further down the road um, there's people that come from Mount Gambia Darwin I think Port Macquarie's in there um, there's all the way to France and so that's a long way to come I guess people do anything for a free meal around here so so thank you so much for coming When I first saw you at church, I just knew that I had to get to know you. Not just because you look gorgeous, but the way you genuinely love, care, and show kindness to anyone you've made contact with. After meeting you and getting to know you, I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. You are a woman that fears the Lord, that is so humble and passionate about people and helping them out in any way you can. You would do anything for anyone because it's who you are, and I love that. You make me want to be a better human. I learned so much from you, and 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 what it's like to be Christ-like. When I first met Alex, I knew it was going to be special. I didn't, I didn't want it to be just on a relationship. So I spent a, a lot of time praying and fasting just to make sure that, that was not, it was just emotions, but from God as well. But I, I've never been so sure in my life that this is not just a good relationship, but a God relationship.